Hello, I'm going to solve this solutions are that here at Igor. This year at Chin25, Atlassian announced that their AI work assistant, Rovo, which was just released last year, it's going soon to be available to Jira, Confluence, and Jira service management users, which are premium and enterprise plans at no extra cost. We have been working and playing with it for a while, and today I want to invite you to come with me so we can show you three ways that you can start using Rovo and make your work a lot easier. The one thing I want to show you before we start to make your work easier is how you enable Rovo in case it's not enabled yet. You either have to be an admin or ask to one of your admins to do that. You're going to have to come over to the administration and then from there, settings. You're going to have AI settings here, both Rovo and Atlassian Intelligence. If we go over to Rovo, you can see here is a red enable in my instance. But more than just enabling here, here is where you can add connectors to different products, to different applications to get data in Rovo from those different applications. Click here on the three dots, add connector, and then you can select which product you want to connect and create a connection. Then here you have Azure DevOps, GitHub, GitLab, Google Drive, Gmail, and other applications that you can connect. What gets us to the first point on how you can get your work better? Rovo helps you to find the right information fast. By having these different applications connected here, you can get all the information, all the data that you need in just one place. You don't have to keep swiveling chairs to search for information in different places. I'm gonna show you here. Let's say I just joined the organization and I wanna know how do I enroll to our 401k plan? As I have Robo enabled here, it already gives me the Robo search. So I'm gonna just search here. How do I enroll to 401k? And then it's gonna give me the information and it's not getting the data you know from the internet, from you know, anywhere in the internet, but from our applications, from the data sources that we have connected. Here I'm seeing information from Confluence, but if we go over here to the right side, there's information in Confluence, Jira, Jira product discovery, Jira service management, other applications that are connected, and even Slack, Loom, Focus, everything's gonna be shown here. So Rovo helps to enhance and to optimize the search, making sure you just go to one central place to get your information. Instead of, you know, piercing through different applications to things yourself, getting everything in one place can move on with your work faster. Next way I want to show you how you can improve your work with Rovo, it's with the agents. So in Rovo, you have agents out of the box agents, and there are two ways you can use them. First, it's through the chat. So let's continue. I got information on how our 401k plan works, and I want to get more information. I opened this Confluence page here, so I have all the information here. Let's say English is not my first language, and I need that translated. Just one example of the different agents that Rovo has out of the box. You could use that through the chat here on the upper right corner. So as you can see here, it's going to open the Robo chat here and I can browse through the agents. I know that one of the agents that we have is the global translator. I'm going to open here. So let's say French is my first language. Can you please translate this page to French? And then Rovo is going to analyze, get information and translate the page to me. So it helps us to create the pages once and not having to keep translating. You know, if you're a global organization, everything is way easier to create information once and Rovo can translate that for your users, your customers. But again, that's just one example of the agents. Another way you can use Rovo agents is through automations. So when you create an automation, you can insert one action and then this action is going to be using one Rovo agent. Again, both the out of the box agents, but also you can create custom agents and I'm going to show you in just one second how to do that. But in the automation, 
you can just create an action here you can say for this specific agent that is come crafter i want to generate a content that match, matches uh, our brand voice and tone so considering the information that i get from this ticket when it's transition to planning i'm gonna get the information and then issue description and i want to create a copy for a campaign and then with the information that was created by the robo agent i can either add as a comment in the ticket or I can create a new ticket with that information. So it streams like streamlines our work. And the last but not least part of how we can leverage Robo to make our work easier, it's you can create your custom agents and no coding is required. So if we go here to the Atlassian home, you have here Robo Studio. And within Robo Studio, you can create a new agent and you can either browse through the agents the existing one so if you want to customize one of out of the box agents you can just change the prompts that are there but let's say you want to create a new agent agent and uh, my use case here is going to be i want to create an agent that is going to check all my work items that do not have updates on the last 72 hours and either put a comment there or close those ones so let's just put this prompt here so all the information is here. What I want that agent to do. The agent should scan tickets in Jira, identify tickets with no updates, and then Rover creates that agent to me, getting the instructions on how the agent should behave, which the tone that should use. And we go here to the next page. It creates directly. I can put the name here. I'm gonna call it bot. Description of that agent, which are the instructions we can put here, which are the conversation starters for the chat, and also where it's going to get the data from. So I can reference the different sources, confluence, and define which pages, which spaces, which your approach is going to get the information from. Again, all the sources that I connected in our connectors page, but also which actions I want this agent to do. So I'm going to add just a couple actions here. I want it to comment on issue on the work item and also transition this work item and save. With that, you know, in less than two minutes, I just created this new agent. And if I go back here to my class and home, open Robo Chat again, I can browse through the agents, my agents, and you can see here the agents are already created. So let's see, can you please check the marketing content project? So it's reviewing my question and it should bring me the tickets from marketing content that have not been updated in the last 72 hours. So there are quite a few that have been long for over 72 hours, nine of such tickets, and we can see a list of tickets here. As I mentioned, we have been hands-on with Rope for a while, and we have seen how much time we can save and how much efficiency it can bring to the organizations, especially when customized to real use cases. If you want help figuring out where it fits into your organization or how you can get started with agents, let's talk. We are happy to help and share what you have learned.